Okay, so here is, here are my tomato plants. They're fairly doing pretty good. Soil is nice and moist thanks to the rocks. I haven't been out foraging for rocks, but I will. And the, I'm noticing, what, what did I use, where did I get this from? This is kind of dry, so I'll have to fix that. And here you see I have spinach. You can see the leaves here. Spinach. Okay, and these are still doing pretty good. The terry cloth is doing excellent than the string that you saw back there. Actually, now I remember. Back there, that was twine. I had some twine. And, um, yeah, it's really thin and it's not working that great however this is working pretty good so if I squeeze it a little bit maybe you might be able to see the moisture see the moisture on my skin it's really doing pretty good plus here you can see the moisture in I have it coiled it's coiled around bottom here so they're looking happy okay I have two tomato plants in the same um, not basket but the same crate we'll see how that works out I do have some grass I did cook some I did cook some corn yesterday so I have I kept the husks and the hairs of the corn and I'm gonna place them on top of things that don't have any covering Okay, here's my sugar beets. Sugar beets are doing pretty good. And the thing I like about this one, this, this I found at the Dollar Tree. This works much better than the twine that I, you saw over there with the tomato plant. This one's working better than, so yeah. You can see it's still moist, keeps moist, but I still do need to put some kind of a covering here. So maybe I'll put some corn husks there. And here I have collards. Collards are growing. They're breaking through the rocks. You see right here? Breaking through the rocks, all these all these here have broken through the rock, so they're pretty strong. Okay, and then on this side, I have Swiss chard. So Swiss chard is breaking through as well. So you see a lot of Swiss chard back here. Swiss chard breaking through. And this arugula plant really helps to keep it shaded. So they have some rocks here as well. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the wicking system here. This was put together before I did the wicking system. Okay, and then behind me, we have Mr. Winter Squash who's breaking through. And we have basil. Look at that basil. Basil's really broken through. So these two okras have come through. And these, this is what I wanted to show. This is doing so much better than the twine I was using, if you could see. And it's nicely moist under here. You stick your finger down. They're getting some really good moisture. Same thing here. You stick your finger down. But one thing I need to do 
is I do need to put some kind of a covering because when we start getting in the high degrees, who knows, this might dry out a little bit. So I want to, oh, look, there's another one. I didn't even see that just till now. It just popped up. Okay, I don't even remember how many I, I planted in there. Okay, so this one has two. This one has three. This one is popping up. And finally, my zucchini popped up. Look at that. This one doesn't have a wicking system. So I'm thinking, since this is still fairly new, I'm going to use this that I found at the thrift store, bury it in here, and um, use it as a watering system for this plant here. So that's what we'll do today. And here we have tomatillos. You see all the tomatillos there? <clears throat> Liam's little boots are showing some <clears throat> and then here we have the first wicking system, the very first doing pretty good. I did fill it up. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of let it go down a little bit. And one thing I did not do is I didn't note when I, um, when I inserted this the date and then when I need to water it, how long it takes for me to water again. I'm guessing maybe a week maybe, but I'll have to keep an eye on this for sure next time. But so this plant is doing really well. And I found this at the nursery. So I was using Izzy's new cat dish to cover it, but so I'm gonna have to get another one of these for the new one I found. This one here doesn't have a wicking system, but it's doing pretty good. Um, if I can find another, I might just, but it looks like for the meantime, yeah, it, it's pretty moist here with this rock. The rock really does a good wonder. Placing, you see that soil? Placing the rock on top really does help, so I'm going to have to, anyways, okay, so I want to do this without harming the, harming the roots, so I'm going to try and put it as close as possible, but not that close so the roots don't get damaged. right here. Okay, so I'll have to use Izzy's dish until I go to the nursery 
and get another saucer to this. Okay, so let's document the 14th of May. Place this terracotta with water up to here. And let's see how long before I need to add more water. Okay, friends, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, friends.